Greetings loves, it is I, Tactical Girlfriend. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well. Today I'm going to be talking about VTAC barricades, what they are, and how to use them. They're an excellent training tool, you can make your own, and there's a lot of really handy applications that will really bolster your training if you do have access to one. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what exactly is a VTAC barricade? Well, it's a barricade basically with a bunch of holes and various steps on them for you to train various shooting positions in, in fairly unconventional positions at that. You can make them yourself out of a sheet of plywood. You can actually make two of them out of a single sheet and some two by fours and a little bit of hardware and the right tools. You can Google the instructions how to do them online. I'm not going to lead a carpentry class on this, but they really aren't that hard to make and they are really handy. So definitely check it out. Now the purpose of the VTAC barricade is not to get you to learn how to use cover properly. You can use it for that, but that's really not entirely the point. The point is really to get you to start shooting from less than conventional and less than ideal positions. There's especially some in-between positions that will get you between crouching or kneeling and standing that are especially awkward and some other lower points on the VTAC barricade that are also especially uncomfortable for most shooters. And that's the entire point. It's to get you out of your comfort zone, get you to experiment with different positions for your rifle that you normally wouldn't shoot it from. But honestly, they do have very good real world applications because the world is not a flat range and you aren't always going to be shooting from the most advantageous position. So these are extremely useful training tools, especially for people trying to become more proficient in tactical shooting with rifles. The way you use the VTAC barricade is that there are two different kinds of elements on these to train on. You have your steps on the exterior of the barricade wall. These are to get you to start shooting from various heights that otherwise might not necessarily be that comfortable, especially the in-between positions between standing, kneeling, and prone. And you also have your ports, otherwise known as tactical glory holes, where you are going to rotate your rifle in orientations that will have your optic at a very different angle that you normally wouldn't really fire from. These are, again, really good for real world scenarios and applications, things that you normally wouldn't train. They're there to get you accustomed to and workshop unconventional shooting positions so that you're more comfortable and able to efficiently move from position to position. Now first, let's talk about how we shoot with the step portion of the barricade. First of all, square up to the barricade to minimize side to side movement when you're on the barricade. You don't want a bladed stance, you don't want to be too far away from the barricade or scrunch too close to it. Engage a target at each step for a string of shots and then move yourself down or up to the next step. This is to acclimate yourself to various heights of engagement. Basically, you are just moving your rifle into various positions up and down these steps, much like a ladder, and you're just trying to acclimate yourself to those heights, see what's comfortable, See how you can get your sight alignment quickly and efficiently while you maneuver your rifle. As you maneuver your rifle in and out of positions, it's extremely important that you keep your body at the same distance from the barricade throughout the entire movement. Moving your body back and forth instead of the rifle is going to be extremely inefficient and it's also going to make it harder for you to index more consistently as you return to the next position. Make sure that you break the rifle over your shoulder or past your firing arm and keep your body the same distance from the barricade as it was before. Next, let's talk about the ports. Up next, the triangle. We know what hole that goes into, right? That's right, the square hole. The entire point of ports on the VTAC barricade is to move from various positions to acclimate yourself to various weapon orientations within limited ranges of sight alignment. A lot of these ports are going to require you to rotate your optic to an angle or completely 90 degrees to the side in order to actually see your target and line up with it. One really crucial element to keep in mind here is that your optic is zeroed on top of your rifle in line and above the bore. When you are shooting from these less than conventional positions, when you're rotating your rifle one side or the other, your alignment is not necessarily going to be the same, obviously. As you rotate your rifle one way or another, it will require you to use both lateral holds while simultaneously requiring you to compensate for various different vertical offsets in these unconventional positions. You're probably going to need to aim a little bit higher than you normally would as you rotate your rifle more and more. So definitely keep this in mind. Your holds will definitely change. Now, as you start to insert your rifle into these various ports, it's really important that you orient it properly before you actually rest it inside the port on the barricade. 
The reason for this is that you want to get proper sight alignment set up before you ever start to set it on the barricade. You don't want to wait until you're on the barricade to start rotating and fidgeting with your rifle to get proper sight alignment. Make sure that your sights are aligned before you insert it into the port so that you can actually properly engage the target as soon as you're on that barricade. Also, as you insert your weapon into the barricade port, you need to make sure that you can see the target and orient your rifle as you insert it through the port. Keep your eyes on that target. It will be a lot faster and a lot more natural for you to line up on target instead of fishing around for it once you get on the barricade. Once you get your rifle through these ports on the barricade and set it in place, it's really important to also apply tension against the barricade with your rifle. This will give you a much more stable sight picture, and this will be especially crucial as you use those lower ports on the barricade. Now, when you're getting your weapon set on the barricade, it's really important to experiment with what you do with your support hand. You can keep your seat clamp grip on your weapon, that's perfectly fine, use that to apply pressure against the barricade, or you can do a reverse seat clamp where you rest the weapon on your thumb and between your index finger and prop it up and hold that flat against the barricade with your palm facing out. That is a really legit tactic that a lot of people like to use. You can also just grab your optic or some other part of your rifle to apply pressure. You can also use your sling to direct pressure in a direction against the barricade as well. All of these are completely legit ways to use the barricade and to brace yourself against it. Just try things out and see what works best for you. Now, the middle to low ports are especially difficult for a lot of people and for good reason. These are definitely harder positions to get in and out of. They are often less upright and just awkward and difficult, and they require some contortion of your body that you just generally don't necessarily shoot from otherwise. Experiment with squatting, one knee or two knees on the ground, and use whatever configuration is more comfortable, fast, and easy for you to get in and out of. Now, when you're in some of these lower positions, it's gonna be really difficult to shoulder your weapon, if not impossible. You're gonna have to workshop some other positions out for which you actually brace your stock against your body. Especially in some of the more canted and contorted kneeling positions, you're simply not going to be able to get that weapon on your shoulder. It just isn't going to work. You'll probably need to get your knee up in the air, kneeling on the other knee, and then get your bicep in front of your knee and brace the buttstock against your bicep. This might feel very awkward at first, and that's okay. It just is what it is, but that's the entire point. To get you to start to think how to get your body contorted in a way that actually still makes a stable shooting platform. Now, the ground level ports are rightfully going to be probably the most frustrating positions to shoot from. You can try from the kneeling position, but you will be contorting your entire torso in a very awkward way. Your head is going to be oriented in a very not upright position and you generally are going to have more difficulty breathing because your diaphragm is scrunched and it's going to be very disorienting. Now, you can try to go into the prone position and that's perfectly fine. That probably will be pretty comfortable as long as you get enough optic clearance under those different ports to engage the target, but you obviously can't move very quickly from position to position because the prone position is inherently not a very dynamic position. You can try the urban prone position, which I do really like here, but again, you run into similar issues with the normal prone position where it just isn't that fast. As always, try all of these things out, and again, see what works best for you. Also, challenge yourself by switching shoulders as you move from position to position, and even move between multiple barricades. There's so much you can do with the VTAC barricade. It's an extremely useful training tool. It's really fun to use. You can do it with friends and run drills and invent all sorts of different maneuvers for yourself to try out and workshop. It's a very handy training tool. If you have access to one, definitely try one out. And if you are able to build your own, definitely do that. It's really not that hard. Well, I hope this video was useful to you all out there. If you do have access to a VTAC barricade, definitely try it out. Get out there and get shooting. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell too. As always, I want to issue a huge thank you to everybody who is supporting this channel on Patreon. I could not do any of this without you. This is almost entirely a one-girl show, aside from the lovely ladies who film me at the range, and I really need all the support I can get to keep this channel going. If you want to go help out, you can always go to patreon.com slash tacticalgf. The biggest contributors are named at the end of the video. And that's all the barricade work I've got for you today. I really appreciate you all tuning in. Please be good to each other out there. And as always, please take care. Bye!